food is ready guys come and enjoy with me <laughs> so guys if you really want to know how we prepared this delicious pot of soup right here this egusi soup please relax and watch to the end let's dive into the video guys hello beautiful people you are welcome back to my channel thank you so much guys for coming back in today's video we are going to continue the soup we were making the other day i posted bitter leaf soup so this is the continuation i told you guys that day that we were about to make two soups but i didn't want the video to be long so i had to make that one a different video and today we are going to continue with the egusi soup so if you have not watched that video please you need to watch it so that you can see when we started boiling the meat when we cooked the meat when we blended the red bell pepper that we are about to use right now so now this is the pot and we just added um palm oil so after palm oil we are going to add onions so after the onions we fry the onions a bit and we pour in this red bell pepper that we have already dried remember in the beginning we blended the red bell pepper poured it in this pot and dried it so after drying this onion a bit we are going to put in the red bell pepper and continue please you relax and watch this recipe is amazing like i said earlier so this is the red bell pepper please don't allow it to burn don't mind me this one burns a bit so this is our recipe on how to cook a goosey soup please you must not cook it this way okay this is just a secret we found out all right so you can just add your uh, palm oil onions and decide to cook without the red bell pepper it's not a must this is optional i just want you guys to give it a try so it's time for us to add the egusi itself so this is the egusi remember we soaked it in the cold water that is why i am encouraging you to watch the part one of this video um on the bitter leaf soup that is on my channel if you watch it you will see how we started everything this recipe is so delicious just try to give it a try guys you have to stir very well turn it properly and mix everything so well see the way we are doing it so continue turning it so that it will not burn if you leave it it will burn you can see some people might not want to cook it this long but I prefer it this way I like to make sure that the goose is properly cooked like fried before adding other things some people might not want to cook it this long but I prefer it this way so I like to make sure that the goose is properly cooked like fried before adding other things so it's ready we are going to add fish right now just follow the steps if you really want to make it this way so we just added the fish we will keep turning it until we add water time to add the meat water and the meat this is it guys if the meat water is so small guys you can 
add more water to it so now it's time to add salt maggi uh, cube anyone you want to use or uh, we are using chicken stock the powder chicken stock like i said in the first video that's the part one of this video and um cameroon pepper it's time to add all these things turn it properly after cooking for a while you can add your bitter leaf or fugu or or kazi any the vegetable you are using for the soup here we are using bitter leaf so mix well and it's ready